Hi, everyone. My name is Kathy Shine Lu, and I'm a mathematician turned computational biologist. I currently work as a project scientist in the bioengineering department at the University of California, San Diego. In our research projects, we use microscope and molecular engineered fluorescent proteins to monitor biochemical activities in live cells with high resolution. For this work, we develop computational methods to analyze video images and quantify these biochemical activities. And we also use mathematical models, including differential equations, to simulate and predict the cellular signals in response to drug treatment. In the field of bioengineering, math and computing are very important. In addition to our work using math in live cell image analysis, in, for example, protein engineering, artificial intelligence and deep learning algorithms have been developed to predict the functions of DNA, RNA, or protein molecules based on their sequence information. In genomics, researchers using statistical analysis, with the statistics being a branch of math, statistical methods have been developed to process through a huge amount of genomic data to discover the genes that lead to certain diseases, such as cancer, or to find the genes that help targeting treatments in personalized therapy. As we can see, STEM fields such as mathematics and computer science are important in bioengineering research. STEM is also important in our daily life, showing up as the internet, software, apps that we use every day. You guys all know of the transformations that technology brought to our society by the giant companies such as Microsoft, Amazon, Meta, Google, and others. Therefore, we can say that this is the age of technology and age of STEM. So I hope this presentation will stimulate your interest in studying math, computing, bioengineering, or any other field in STEM. One thing that I feel is really important is to find what you love to do, something you enjoy a lot, be good at, and also realistically, this thing should be helpful for the society in a good way, so that as a result, you can make a decent living out of it. So do what you love. There are lots of reasons for this. I give you two reasons here. First, if you love what you do, you probably don't mind putting lots of time in it, which will make you excellent, providing a positive feedback for your career. Second, if you love what you do, when difficulties arises, which by the way, definitely will happen sooner or later in your lifetime. When there's difficulty, if you love what you do, then it is easier to persist and not give up. Okay, another suggestion I have is to make friends, especially with those who share common interests with you. There's a Chinese saying, staying home, one needs parents. Going outside, one needs friends. 在家靠父母, 出门靠朋友. These friends in the future will provide an invaluable network make your work super fun and not boring, and they would be super helpful if you ever have any difficulties. So when you are still young and have plenty of time, whatever you do, try to be a nice person and take all opportunities to make friends on your way throughout your life. 